Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. I'm meat flapping in the wind. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> meat flapping. I don't I don't want to see that. Yeah, you know, something weird about this level perhaps in particular is reminding me of Samurai Jack. Uh, you, know, you know where I'm getting Yeah, the kind of well, because he, he's always in those dystopian, like, yeah. broken building futures, yeah, so I can definitely... Right I plus, the, the silhouetting was very much that That's aesthetic. That's true, too. Yeah, I don't so both know. of them. You gotta get launched up. Oh, there you go. Touch that, and then jump right, right off of that. Gotta go up here. So, uh... Oh. Okay, 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 I got it. Oh, yeah, let's give you a second here. Whoop! Yeah, um... I love this game. Man. <laughs> so, oh, actually, I did think of something that I, did, I wanted to say, because we recently played Ibanob, and that was infuriating. The thing that I think is getting me a little bit, like, I'm, I'm, there are times where I'm like, oh, I could have made that. And I'd like to that. point out that I actually really enjoyed Ibanob, even though I was exhausted yeah. from it by the end of it. Like, the gameplay is my kind of gameplay. I can get into that, but go on. Uh, but the thing that I think separates this game from Ibn Ab is that you, it's it's mission based, right? You have mm -hmm. these short bursts, like this is a, this is a short level. That's yeah, awesome. you. Yeah. Um, so there's there's immediate satisfaction to be had for when you can get past something. I can I can see that. Whereas yeah. Ibn Ab, it's that one big crawl. Yeah, the whole. It never time. quite stops. Yeah, even the transitions for the levels are like don't feel like it. Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. Ah, that was a lot hey, easier girlfriend. than we even thought. Oh, she got kidnapped again. Yeah. Oh. Dang it. Women, am I right? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Always getting kidnapped. I really? I, look, this is oh. the world. It's not my fault. It's the world we live in. It taught me that from 1985 when I was born. Princesses get captured. Boy heroes save them. Isn't that the way? <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep it up. <laughs> but uh, it is It is funny that, you know, that... Oh. That Oops. trend lasted as long as it did. Like, yeah. why is it that it seems, and I, I'm going to say seems because, you know, we weren't around before to say anything about it, but why is it that it seems that our generation is really the first generation to start targeting that okay. concept? Like, I, I mean, I know it has a lot to do with the, just the feminist movement, but why did the feminist movement come up Kick when it now. did? Well, the I mean, feminist movement kicked off, obviously, before our time. But with the strength that it has now... It's it's more because what are we third wave feminism now? I can't remember what they call it. There were you know I don't know enough about the topic to, to speak to that. Sure. But it's more that now it's like okay the rights are there so that's good. There's still some inequities that we need to fix like pay and and uh, and stuff like that. But we're starting to see fiction really respond, which is in itself the place that I think has the greatest. Uh, power for change because once you start seeing your fiction teach you a different lesson, right? Then you start integrating that into your real life. So what what took it so long? I mean, so I think uh, a lot of civil movements happen by necessity. Um, so I mean, you can go back as far as uh, the introduction of African African Americans to America. You know, they were introduced because they were they were, they were brought here as a workforce. Yeah. Um, what changed was as you know. Uh, I guess there was always an emphasis for, hey, these are people too, in the, even in the early drafts of the Constitution, but there, there was a certain necessity to have them as workers for sure. op opponents of that, of that philosophy. Um, when, it was fr uh, when that was changed and we had this kind of... That, that was a, I guess, it was like we had a, a kind of a, a signpost for, hey, this is how change happens. And oh, good job. I thought you were going to die there. Wow. Uh, yeah. And there. Um, we've been kind of working on that, though, right? Like, the Civil Rights Movement of the 60s is very fresh in our minds, and I think uh, we kind of think about that when we think about women's rights and gay marriage rights and all this stuff. Yeah. Because it is kind of... Oh. Like we've been through it, so it's yeah. easier to have those movements happen for the it's other like, groups. It seems obvious that we that the change needs to happen, I yeah, think. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I guess there's also the large part of just, like, because those things happened... I mean, it's just that it's really a dominoes effect. Those things happened which allowed women to be more independent, which allowed women to make more money, which allowed them to move up in position and have more influence, and that influence allowed more things to happen, and more things and more things, and so... It's sort of also just a... It's not so much the, the social consciousness, the, the morality has hit, it's just that 
the the power is a little bit more available, thankfully. That yeah. allows uh, a reparation to be made, I guess. And I mean, also Star Trek, right? Like, it also, is, yeah. oh, <laughs> no, you're totally right, though. Yeah, this yeah. is a generation that grew up on Star Trek, which was just such a like morally forward thinking. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Roddenberry. Right. For being a, a genius forward thinker. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Those kinds of people, and that's that goes right with what I'm saying. That's sort of the creative side, the fiction supported mm -hmm. the yeah, ideas. Absolutely. The ideas were there already, Kirk, but the fiction, was. yeah. Yeah, you know, a funny fact about Ahura, um, she wanted to leave Star Trek. Oh yeah, but heard uh, this. I'll let you yeah, tell it. Yeah, well, yeah, MLK uh, Junior, I assume. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, said that basically, hey, we need a, a strong African-American female in television, so please stay, and managed to convince her to stay on the show, which... Just such a yeah powerful message. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Like, imagine a world where she didn't. Right. And how that might have affected I mean, the civil rights movement. I think we have all heard the story now of how Kirk and Uhura had their first interracial kiss, but like yes. that's, a, that's still a huge moment, yeah, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Uh, I, I seriously wonder if he had not successfully convinced her what would that do like what if you if you could look at an alternate history where that happened how bad would things be today from that ripple effect mm. it's pretty weird what are these blobby guys are they also um, meat well they're rotten meat i think oh that's they're happy though yeah they do look happy so that shouldn't be a problem. That's the parasites and their meat telling them to be happy. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's the story I like to believe. Nice. Which, um... <laughs> what were, some of my favorite, um... My favorite, like, scary um, propaganda is in telling people to be happy. Mm. Um, there obey. was... You haven't seen They Live. We talked about that recently. Yeah. Yeah, Obey um, is a perfect example of I that. I went to... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I went Consume. to, um... A Pink Floyd concert with it was, it was only Roger Waters, the lead singer of Pink Floyd, because okay. they'd all disbanded by this point. But they had this, among other crazy things, like giant thirty-foot puppets and um, uh, just a huge wall they were building on stage. They had a, a floating pig, a big black floating pig with graffiti flying over the audience. Sure. Ooh. And um, on the pig, it said, "Don't worry, everything is fine." You know. Nice. And uh, it was just oh, hide here for a second. Oh, okay, I thought you were dead. When you went off the screen. All right. All right. Yeah, and then the other one that I really like. I mean, the, the flag pick was amazing. I feel like I want to put a picture of it now on top of our, our video, but uh. <laughs> well, we can't do that. Well, yeah, we can. No. I've got a picture of it. No, because we can't do that as discussed. Why? Our editing software is is. I didn't want to bring this up in the show, but. But to... what's the part about our editing software? Uh, everything. Um, we don't have the money to invest in higher end editing software, which I feel like seems like now I'm, uh, you know, oh, woe is us. <laughs> but our editing software has limitations that we live in. So, okay. if anybody has any suggestions, we'll put that out. That's for, a good idea, yeah. For um, good, uh, free, I tried Lightworks. Lightworks didn't really work for me. Um, didn't really Lightworks for you? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. But uh, <laughs> if you've got some ideas on good editing software that's either in the... the I don't even go so far as to say cheap, because I'm willing to invest in what we're doing here. But I just can't afford After Effects for a show like this, you know. Um, which makes me worry that I sound like I don't actually care about this. <laughs> you bastard. I put my heart and soul into this. Yeah. And but you yeah, can't even we, fork out a couple hundred dollars? But yeah, we talked about that the other day that we can't do. No, yeah, okay. I, I guess I was thinking more flashy, but I thought we could still drop in like still images or something? Not over video. We can drop in oh, still man. images, just not over video. Yeah, that's rough. Um, oh, so it would have to literally cut to the pig and then cut out, which we could do that. Okay. Maybe we'll still because the pig is really, really cool. Um, it's got other things other than the thing that I said, but oh man, it is so cool. And that is still the greatest concert I've ever been to. Um, not uh, visually, at least, not necessarily. Whoa, so, let's see if we can. Yeah, give us a few more tries here. Whoa, 
Nice. <gasps> I'll slide into that guy. Oh wait, that's a... Uh, <laughs> I didn't even, it's hard to tell with the silhouettes. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't even... Are you trying to do it on this episode, or are you trying to do it on the next episode? Yeah. I think... Oh, man, okay, gotta... let's take a break. Um, we will come back to this on the next episode of Instant Replay Live when we return. Hope everybody's enjoying, and please like, comment, oh, subscribe to let us know. Oh, you're just Look doing your meat. little toots. I'm farting. Your meat toots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>